I do briefly want to talk about exercise 17.11 because it is a little bit of a longer exercise. So this exercise is entitled Effects of Sea Level Rise on Selected Coastal Communities. Now the first question asks you to, how would continued global climate change affect risk in each region? So the first reason, which is the example I'll give, asks about Islip, New York. And the first question asks, how far inland would a five foot sea level rise shift the shoreline? Now what you're given is you're essentially given a bunch of these graphs and each graph represents a different area. So the top graph is for Islip, New York. Now you have two axes. The left axis shows the change in sea level where zero feet would be the current sea level and the top would be 50 feet, which means you have 50 feet of sea level rise or sea level change. The bottom axis shows distance where the left hand side shows the distance from essentially the now shoreline and going right on this shows the distance going inward from that shoreline. And it's given in miles. Now for the first question, you're just gonna mark where the shoreline would be in the presence of some change in sea level. So the first one asks for about five feet, which is right here. And so what you'll do is the present shoreline is right here, all right? But that's at zero feet. So now you would mark is where the present shoreline would be with the, ch with the five foot change in sea level. So you're essentially gonna draw a straight line out and where you see that intersect the inland will essentially be where the new shoreline is, all right? So that would be the five foot sea level change. Now for a 25 foot sea level change, you do the same thing. You'll mark it out and try to figure out where the change in present shoreline would be be somewhere around right here. So you're going to do that for all these different locations for this exercise. It is important to note the risk essentially of some of these areas based on a change in sea level, whether it is five feet or 25 feet. So for Islip, New York at a, at a 25 foot sea level change, JFK Airport will be underwater. Whereas a uh, a 25 foot sea level change in Miami, Florida, most of Miami would be underwater. But let's take a look at maybe something like Coos Bay, Oregon, where a 25 foot change in sea level rise, a majority of it would still be above sea level. So it would be unaffected due to a 25 foot sea level change. So if we were to look in the future and have a 25 foot sea level change, coastal communities could be affected in many different ways. Where in Miami, current residents that would live and reside in some of these coastal communities are really close to present sea level. Whereas there are some areas that are still considered coastal like Coos Bay, Oregon, where coastal communities are well above the present sea level for that area.